This right here is the little graphic that I always like to use to show how tact is a nimble system. So at the top here, usually in a CPM system, you have large batch sizes, you have large zone sizes, okay? And that's not great. And your critical path runs you all the way up to the end to your substantial completion with zero float. If a CPM scheduling consultant came to your job, they would require that you do that. If you have a normal practice of adding in schedule contingency and adding in buffers throughout your schedule, your contracts typically don't allow that. And if you were ever caught doing that, they would ask you to change it. So a true, not a builder, you guys are builders on this call and I love you and I support you and I'm proud of you and I respect you and I admire you. But a true CPM system will back you right up to substantial completion. Okay. The problem with this is if there's a delay in the system, you're behind substantial completion. So I'm just simulating this as a delay right here. You're behind. Maybe that's okay. The owner's not too upset. Now, but there's another delay. What are we going to do now? What do people start to do when this happens? Just think about it. You don't even have to answer it. What do people start to do? Superintendents, schedulers, and PMs will start to stack the logic at the end of the schedule. And why is that a problem, ladies and gentlemen? If you start to stack, and that's the exact reason that this schedule started to stack, that is a lie. There's no way that project can finish. They will really finish much later. This system was already behind schedule because it didn't obey the production laws, which I'll explain in a minute, and because it didn't have trade flow and because it started to trade stack. Really big problem. So we have a problem here. Anytime you see that, this trade stacking, you're in trouble because as Philippe Engineer talks about in his Scrum courses, additional people means more context switching. Additional people means that you're probably also working overtime. It means that communication is more complex. It means that there's an onboarding time for new people to come on the project site, a minimum of seven days. It means that you are not productive. As soon as you go, like, let's say you had five workers for this crew, five, 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 five. So you on your project site, you were consistently at five and now you need 10. Those additional people will not be productive because of context switching, overtime, communication complexity, onboarding, and the team not being familiar with the work. You will actually lose production if you bring new people in there. Let's look at what happens in a tacted system or in a nimble system. Let's say that you have a delay and that pushes. Okay, there's the delay. We can move Move the entire sequence over to the right and eat into those buffers. Here's another delay. We move that sequence over, we pause the entire project and we move it that duration and we eat into those buffers. Guess what? We're not behind schedule because we were able to use those buffers. Where did we get those buffers, you ask? I'm glad you asked. Right here with the optimization. We were able to identify the ideal number of tax zones, eight versus five, that got us to finish in enough time to where we actually had buffers within the system. That's the genius of this. 